government budget. We have already seen the first objective, reallocation of resources. The second objective, reducing inequalities of income. And the third objective we are discussing now, that is economic stability and price stability. Please follow carefully. These short videos are exclusively made for your December exam. I'm sure follow this you will be able to answer any question what is economic stability and price stability if there are fluctuations in the economy the prices are going up and going down bad for the economy price stability is not there so if there is no price stability there won't be economic stability inflation deflation unemployment that's not good for the economy. What should we do? Through government budget, we can do that again. So follow this. What is, if there is, econo I mean, how do they do to budget economic stability and price stability? If the prices are too high or simply if there is too much inflation in the economy, what the government will do? The government imposes huge taxes. The government increases tax rates. They impose new taxes, maybe income tax will go up, property tax will go up, house tax will go up, wealth tax will go up, GST will go up. When the tax rates go up, the purchasing power of the people will come down. Aggregate demand in the economy will come down, the price of the commodities will come down. So price stability, economic stability. If there is deflation in the economy or depression, what exactly happened recently because of the COVID-19? coronavirus the price of the commodities have come down there's no aggregate demand in the economy no one has the purchasing power they lost jobs people are not able to buy goods to budget what the government has done they put more money into the economy so how do they do that the other way around decrease the taxes all kinds of taxes put more money in the economy through way of subsidies but transfer payments giving pensions giving transfer payments to the public, huge subsidies. So again, the aggregate demand will go up, we can increase. So very simple, economic stability and price stability. It all depends upon the inflation and deflation, price rise and price comes down. If there's inflation in the economy, increase the tax rates, reduce the subsidies. If there's deflation in the economy, reduce the taxes, increase subsidies. So again, we can bring back the economy into balance. Otherwise, there will be huge fluctuations. That's all for this short video. Till we meet next time, it's goodbye. But definitely keep watching these short videos. They'll help you instantly for your next exam. After watching the videos, you'll be able to answer any questions. Thank you guys. Bye.